What's up YouTube and welcome back to Devlog 3 of Astro, a multiplayer zero gravity first person shooter. It's been a long time since the last Devlog and a lot has changed. Since Devlog 2, I've doubled the number of assets and written over a thousand more lines of code in 100 commits. In the last month, the game has really matured a lot in its base systems and I also cleaned up the movement. This video will also mark the end of V2, meaning that I've leveled up pretty much every system in the game and I'm ready to move on to V3 but more on that at the end of the video. Unfortunately, due to the busyness of preparing to go back to school, I wasn't able to organize another playtesting session, so enjoy these clips of me 1v1ing my brother, and let's get on to the video. So movement is the top priority in my game, even before gunplay, and I decided I would try to polish the current movement mechanics instead of trying to make more, since this just dictates the feel of gameplay. So the first thing I focused on was reviving the rails. If you remember from the last devlog, I wasn't sure if I would keep the rails or not, but I decided to commit to polish them up and see if that would change my mind, and it definitely did. The major differences is the animations, but I also improved the smoothing, velocity control, auto locking, and several other quality of life features which just make everything click together. By the way, if you're making a multiplayer game in Unreal Engine and want to create cool movement like this, I'm making a tutorial series which goes over the character movement component, which is everything I learned from making Astro, so check that out if you're interested. Moving on, I wanted to come back to the slide, which is my favorite mechanic, and give it some love. One of the coolest polish features I added to the slide mechanic was leaning into the turns, since this makes it feel like you're carrying your momentum so much more. I also added an entirely new slide mode called front sliding, as opposed to the normal crouch sliding. Front sliding only occurs when you deep mantle and can't slide dash when you're front sliding. You do, however, get an extra speed bonus when going off an edge. Lastly, I added different amounts of drag dependent on the weapon so that it's more efficient to move without a weapon. I spent a lot of time working on the gameplay framework. So now players can join a lobby and then pick the map and game mode as well as change game mode parameters like teams or weapon loadouts and all of this data will be carried over to the actual match. To test this system, I implemented team deathmatch as the first game mode, but I'll be adding a lot more game modes in the future, as well as a special game mode which I'm designing to be the primary game mode of Astro. I really went all in on the game mode system because I want it to be extremely modular so that in the future I'll have the option to allow content creators to make custom game modes and maps. This isn't a definite feature yet, but I do think it would be a really cool idea. So I went back and completely rehauled the UI with Common UI, which is a plugin for Unreal Engine that powers Fortnite and is super helpful in managing my ever growing HUD. So this is going to be helpful in the long run. I also added the compass, which you see in the bottom center of the screen. And this is sort of a mini map, but for 3D. All it shows right now is the velocity vector of the player relative to their look rotation. But I'm planning to display enemies that are actively shooting, objectives, and other stuff like that. The main difference between this and an actual mini map is that the compass is only directional. So you can't perceive distances. But I think this is fine since with full degree of freedom rotation, Direction is by far the most important information. So this has been the end of a long sprint of development, as well as the end of the summer for me. With this video I'm ending V2, which I'm calling the shooter core version, because pretty much all the core shooter mechanics are fully implemented. I'll be going back to school now, so I probably won't be making another video for a while, but fear not since I have big plans for V3. V3 will be all about content, since the game is definitely lacking that. I'm going to start by scrapping this default Unreal Engine mannequin and creating my first character for Astro. Then I'm going to be modeling some novel weapons, and last of all I'm going to make a completely new map. I'm also going to get Astro on some AWS servers so that we can get the first real online pre-alpha playtesting. I want to majorly level up the graphics of my game because I feel that they are really holding back the vision and I'll also bring more people to the channel with this. So I definitely have my work cut out for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next devlog. Peace.
over here, Luki. Oh, that was clean. Oh! Oh, what? Oh! Just kidding, just kidding. Hey, hey! Oh, what? Take it easy. Go, where'd he go? Oh! Just kidding. Wow. Yes, sir! 